in the previous session uh, we had started with the energy and potential topic right and we have seen energy expended in moving a point charge in an electric field right we have got an expression for that uh, and it's actually an integral right integral uh, of electric field intensity with the distance uh, dl that is e dot dl right multiplied by the amount of charge that you want to uh, move in a particular electric field so uh, that was in for any kind of uh, any point charge that is energy expended or work done in moving a point charge in an electric field we have also seen that uh, that equation we can take it as a line integral where you uh, take the path and split it into different uh, or small parts and then integrate it right to get the line integral the next concept that we have is the potential okay the potential so what potential is so it is also called scalar electric potential sometimes it's also called the scalar electric potential the potential or electric potential at any point a okay potential at a point a with respect to the reference point b is the work done in moving a unit positive charge from the point a to the point b in an electric field e okay so we have considered uh, the work done in an electric field right we have considered the work done in an electric field uh, to move a uh, charge from point b to point a that is that that expression is given as w the w was equal to minus q into integral of e dot dl from initial to final point suppose that charge that you are moving is a unit positive charge what is unit positive charge unit positive charge means it is plus one coulomb charge okay it is plus one coulomb charge if you are moving unit positive charge then that work done is called the electric potential so this is the equation that we had derived in the previous class that is w that is equal to minus q of uh, minus q into integration of e dot dl from b to a suppose you are moving that uh, charge from one point b to another point a okay so you are moving a charge uh, across any path okay it can be any path from b to a that charge was q okay suppose that charge is q is one coulomb you are moving it in this particular direction okay that is dl direction suppose this charge is plus 1 coulomb suppose you are moving plus 1 coulomb charge then the work done in moving that point charge from b to a is called the electric potential okay so then w instead of q you can take it as plus 1 coulomb so q will be 1 so you can just uh, 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 not write it here so minus into integration of e dot dl from b to a okay so this expression you know it is for plus 1 coulomb charge so this you can call it as or you can call it uh, potential and it is indicated with the symbol v okay it is potential is indicated by the symbol v v is the symbol used to indicate the electric potential that's why we can write it as v a b okay so that means this is electric potential at the point a with with, with, with respect to the reference point b okay so what v a b means is electric potential at the point a with reference to the point b that is equal to minus of integration of e dot dl from b to a now what is the unit of potential unit of potential is volts okay unit of potential is volts which is represented using capital v this potential or the electric potential is also expressed in terms of the potential difference because here we are taking the potential with respect to certain another point potential at a point with reference to a reference point right so it is also called the potential difference the same electric potential it can be expressed as the potential difference so if you want to uh, define the potential difference it is one and the same uh, you, here you take the difference between two points the potential difference between any two points in an electric field is the work done in moving a unit positive charge from one point to the other okay so it's exactly the same uh, definition as you have seen for electric potential but here you consider uh, uh, two points into consideration even there you had potential at one point with reference to other point so potential difference between any two points in an electric field is the work done in moving a unit positive charge from one point to the other in that particular electric field so if the initial position of the point is uh, of the charge is initial uh, point at 
some point and finally it will go to the another point so you can take the potential difference as minus of e dot dl from initial to final suppose you are moving it from the point b to a then you can uh, replace initial and final positions as b and a and the potential is indicated as vab vab indicates potential difference between points a and b or to be in particular it is the potential at the point a with reference to the point b okay so this is about the potential and the potential difference then we have another concept called the potential gradient the potential gradient this is also a very important concept so we know that the potential or the potential difference between the two points in an electric field it is given by v that is equal to minus integration of e dot dl from initial to final position right so this you can take as equation number one this is the equation for the potential in an electric field e if the point is if the unit positive charge is moving from uh, one position to the other by a distance of dl so this is an integral expression for v suppose you take differential scalar electric potential that means if you differentiate it if you differentiate means if it is a differential potential it is actually dv differential potential is given as dv that is equal to minus e dot d if you integrate this you will get this right so if you integrate this equation on both sides integration of dv will be equal to v and integration of this will be e into integration minus e integration of e dot d so if you consider the differential potential you can write it as dv that is actually equal to minus e dot d dl right we take this as equation number two now this v or the potential is actually a function of x y and z so potential it varies along all the dimensions across x y and z that's why its total differential it can be taken as the sum of its variation along x along y and along z so you can write it as dv is actually sum of its partial derivatives okay you can take dv as the sum of its partial derivatives in all three axes so dv if you consider rectangular coordinate system dv can be written as dou v by dou x into dx where dou v by dou x is the partial differentiation of v with respect to x direction so why we consider partial differentiation is uh, v varies not just with x but it also varies with y and z so when we consider x component we consider only its partial differentiation with x axis only so dou v by dou x dx plus dou v by dou y dy plus dou v by dou z dz so this is the total differentiation of uh, v with respect to all the dimensions so when you consider this dv it includes its variation along x y and z axis okay. so in this thing if you want to introduce some vector component okay so what we will do is we will use this dot product of unit vectors in each of the coordinates for example in the term for x we will include ax dot ax okay so we will include ax dot ax so what is the product of ax dot ax can anyone tell me what is the product ax dot ax what is the dot product of ax with ax one right so because ax means it is unit vector it is one and, and this is also a unit vector i mean the dot product of two unit vectors will give you one anyway and since it is dot product the product is scalar it is just one without any direction so why we are introducing this is just to obtain some vector quantity here and split it okay so even if you add ay dot ay also uh, uh, if you include ay dot ay also it will not make any difference to this but we need x components here so here we will need y components here we will need z components so we will introduce this ax dot ax product here ay dot ay in the y term az dot az in the z term now we will split this we will use our distributive law and split this so then what do you get if you are going to split this uh, we will multiply you know dou v by dou x into ax plus dou v by dou y into ay plus dou v by dou z into az we will keep uh, as one term then dot product of this with this term, dx into ax plus dy into ay plus dz into az so will it make any difference to this it is one and the same right we have just split this with respect to the dot products so 
So this is one term. This is the term. We are going to find the dot product of this. The product is a scalar term that is dB. So this term dou v by dou x into a x plus dou v by dou y into a y plus dou v by dou z into a z is on one side. You know you can take uh, v is common in all of this. You can take v outside, and this term dx a x plus dy a y plus dz a z is another term. Yesterday in, or in the previous class we have seen this is actually the distance dl in case of rectangular coordinate system, right? This is nothing but dl in rectangular coordinate system. So uh, if I take v outside from here and replace this with dl, what do I get? Next equation that is do by so v is common from the previous case. If you take v outside, what we will be left with is just do by do x of a x. Plus dou by dou y of a y plus dou by dou z of a z into v dot d x a x plus d y a y plus d z a z is nothing but d l. Okay, so we have taken this as v and this as d l. Now what is this dou by dou x of a x plus dou by dou y of a y plus dou by dou z of a z? We have seen while discussing the uh, vector operator del. So this is nothing but vector operator del in rectangular coordinate system. Partial derivatives of All the unit vectors, right? This is nothing but vector operator del. So it is del v dot dl. So this is another term for dv. In the previous case, we had got dv as minus e dot dl. We have taken this as equation number two, and also we have obtained dv as del v del v dot dl. You can take this as equation number three. So if you compare those two equations, equation number two and three, you can take it as uh, left hand sides are equal. So right hand sides have to be equated. That is minus e dot dl will be equal to del v dot dl. So here del v and del v are common in both the sides. If you cancel them, minus e will be equal to del v, or in other terms, you can also write it as e is equal to minus del v. This is one of the very important equations. You can also ask. You can be asked to derive this, or you'll be using this in solving some numerical examples, which gives the expression for Electric field intensity in terms of the potential or the potential gradient. Okay, so the term del v is called the gradient. Okay, potential gradient. Uh, whenever you uh, perform operation of del on any scalar quantity, you get its gradient. Okay, earlier we had seen del dot, right? Del dot with some vector that would be divergence. Okay, dot operation on this del with any vector will yield divergence. So, if you multiply the del vector operator del with any scalar quantity, you will get its gradient. Okay. So, what this indicates is the electric field intensity is equal to the negative potential gradient. Okay. So, sometimes we might be asked to prove prove that electric field intensity is equal to negative potential gradient. So, you have to do this derivation and show that electric field intensity is equal to negative potential gradient. So, this del v. the term or operation del v is called the potential gradient and it is a vector quantity because del is a vector and you are performing vector operation on a scalar you will get a vector okay because e is also a vector so it's a vector quantity right so this del v uh, it can be obtained in uh, different coordinate systems uh, as this okay del v in case of rectangular coordinate system is this thing Dou v by dou x into a, dou v by dou x into a x plus dou v by dou y into a y plus dou v by dou z into a z, right? Dou v by dou x into a x plus dou v by dou y into a y plus dou v by dou z into a z. It's a vector. Del v is this. So e will be equal to minus del v. It will, it will be minus of this if you want electric field intensity. But we are considering the operation uh, del v, that is potential gradient in rectangular coordinates, is this particular thing. If you consider Cylindrical coordinates where the coordinates are rho phi and z, so it will be in terms of rho phi and z. Do we by do rho into a rho plus one by rho do we by do phi into a phi plus do we by do z into a z. This is in case of cylindrical coordinate systems. Next we have in spherical coordinates, the coordinates are r theta and phi. So the potential gradient will be in terms of a r a theta a phi. That is do we by do r into a r plus one by rho into do we by do theta into a theta. Plus one by r sine theta, do by do phi into a phi. So these are the equations for the potential gradient in all the three coordinates. Okay, 
and these are actually derived uh, the derivations are there for this uh, it's out of the scope of your syllabus and also your understanding so these are there in the appendix if you want you can refer in the textbook for the derivations of this but it's better you memorize this because you will require this while solving numerical examples okay so i will stop for today what we have learned is the, about the potential and the potential difference and the potential gradient so we are left with the very few topics in this particular module regarding uh, the potential of a point charge okay sorry yeah the potential of a, uh, uh, some some few topics of the potential field of a point charge and also one uh, one thing about the conservative property and also what do you call that the energy stored in the field okay and something about absolute potential so all these you know we will discuss in the next class and also there are numerical examples so we will solve them uh, in the next week